What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long in the Transformers Matrix, bringing another Transformers Revenge of Fallen movie toy review. This time of the Transformers 2 Revenge of Fallen movie, Supreme, Constructicons, Devastator. So we have all six of the Constructicons that form the Supreme sized Devastator. We got Rampage, Long Haul, Scrapper, Hightower, Scavenger, and Mixmaster here. So I'll show them all individually real quick. So let's start with Rampage. He's still not red. Uh, pretty good uh, detail, especially right here on the bulldozer part, which actually goes up and down a little bit. Has a dirty effect, the black treads, but he has um, two little wheels right here. The roll is really good. And we got Long Haul here, just like Rampage forms uh, the leg. He has a big old Decepticon somewhere right there. Unfortunately, uh, due to this transformation, this part uh, doesn't dump out. Uh, he has big old blocky uh, wheels in here. Pretty uh, pretty good size and uh, detail right there, yellow headlights. For a little size comparison, Long Haul and Rampage are deluxe sizes. So you can see next to Camaro Constant Bumblebee. Maybe a little out of scale, but um, it's alright. To Scrapper, pretty nice uh, detail. Has a big old Decepticon symbol. It says BGE right there. Um, this part, unfortunately, because they form the fingers, doesn't go up and down. It would be really cool. The roll is pretty well, too. Um, Pretty uh, nice detail. And here we got High Tower. He has the Septicon 40777. The roll is pretty good. It has the big old hook. And unfortunately, it doesn't extend. But this part does go forward and back if you wanted to. And this part does do the transformation. Just a little size comparison. Uh, Scrapper and High Tower are um, Voyager size compared to the Voyager Demolisher. Speaking of which, here is uh, Demolisher's brother, Scavenger. He has the SCV and R, like the initials, big old Decepticon symbol. Um, the little um, cow part is a little curved, unlike Demolisher's. Uh, his big old uh, shovel thing has pretty good articulation. You can see he can go all the way down. He rolls pretty good on like his little brother uh, Demolisher, which you can see this guy is definitely way huge. And last but not least, we got Mixmaster. He has a really nice Decepticon symbol on the front. He has the same color scheme as his Voyager, except there's no purple Decepticon symbols. And he rolls really well, and because he is the one that has all the um, sounds and everything when you roll him. He's motion activated so he'll make that mixing sound in him. And here's a little down uh, track part. It actually has pretty good detail for it, but he won't freaking shut up. Just to show how big Mix Master and Scavenger are, here is movie leader Optimus Prime. So you can see that Scavenger and Mix Master are leader class size when they're in uh, Ultimate. Constructicons take out the competition. Uh, I'll be back. Right now it's time to show what you guys all came here to see, which is how to combine them. So let's start with Rampage and Long Haul who form the legs because they're the easiest so which you want to do is unfold this part right here and bring this joint up and then this part will stop the leg right here and then you want to fold the foot out. There you got the left leg of Devastator ready to go. Now let's do Long Haul. All you want to do is unfold them like this way, bring out the foot this way, and then you fold it in like this way and there you got the right leg of Devastator. So you'll start out having them like this. Let's see the arms of Devastator. What For a high tower you want to bring this back, bring this back like so. Take these side threads and bring them up like so. Then now you want to bring out the fingers like so, like this. And then now you want to bring back these threads and bring them inside. This will be the left arm of Devastator right here. For Scrapper, what you want to do is you want to separate uh, his little shovel thingy, bring these to the side right here, rotate this 180 degrees, and you want to bring these parts like so down, they're on ball joints, so bring them down, these will form his fingers, and then these wheels, you bring them up like so, and now you got the right arm of Devastator. For big old scavenger, what you want to do for this part here, you want to unfold this part back here, and this will clip into place. And then for this part, you bring this back, and this will like fold into here like that. Now, what you want to do is unfold these parts. This will tab onto the side right here. So do the same, untab it, and tab it to the side here. You want to tab this part into here. And then this part right back here, you want to bring this down. 
And here you got the lower torso of a Devastator. And last but not least, the guy that won't show up, Mixmaster. So what you see what I mean? He just won't show up. So here what you want to do here is that you want to unclip this part. You want to clip it into this tab right here. It makes the transformation sound and he tells you his name. And then you want to bring pull these parts back like so. And there you got the head of Devastator. Now it's time to form Devastator. Long haul, uh, clip him into this slot right here. Do the same for Rampage here, clip him in this spot. So here you got a uh, lower part of Devastator form. In this little hole right here, you'll tab, uh, with this tab, you'll connect high tower. Uh, there you go. And with this hole in this tab, you'll connect a uh, scrapper here. Uh, we're going to connect the head. We're just going to take this part right here and tab it into place for uh, Devastator's head. So push it into push it into place here. And there you got Devastator in his huge robot mode. Really, really cool detail on the head. He has the green eyes and the green pieces. Really, really nice. Um, you see he even got the red arms. The paint is pretty okay. It could have been a little more detailed, especially for the fact that this is a $100 toy. You can see he doesn't have the famous Devastator balls, but if that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's up to you. But he is still really nice and really, really menacing. Articulation, Devastator's head can't really move left or right, but his mouth can open and you'll see more of that in a second. Arms do rotate to 160 degrees and they do go in and out. They rotate at the elbow here. He also bends at the elbows here. As a scrapper, he does have individual finger articulation. Same with Hightower, he does have individual finger articulation. His legs go forward and back. But because of the balance, he can't really move that much. But the legs do go in and out. He does bend at the knees. And he does have a feet pivot. But like I said, he's really top heavy. So he's not going to do much leg posability. He just wanted him more to stand than anything else. Devastator has some lights and sound gimmicks. And when you press down on this little tab here, his mouth will open up. And lights... He's ready to suck. He says a lot of variety of things. <laughs> Devastator, you like giving me hell, don't you? <laughs> mean robot suck. Punch you in your face. Punch you on your face, man. It works definitely better if you had the Legends mud flap. Devastator is a perfect scale if you have Legend figures, so he works really well. Um, nom, nom, nom. Tastes old and rotten. Ah. Just because I'm following a pot doesn't mean you can eat me, you big size comparison time. So here you can see Supreme Devastator, definitely bigger than Masterpiece Grimlock and bigger than Leader Megatron here. And he is kind of bending at the knees, but he is standing pretty proper. So yeah, he is pretty big and he is definitely Supreme size. Devastator is really, really awesome toy. The lights and sounds are fun, even though Mixmaster freaking won't shut up. But uh, he has great articulation for a combiner. Um, all the odd modes are really fun. For a hundred bucks, I wish I had more detail on rubber tires. If you're really a big fan of combiners, a big fan of Devastator himself, it's worth it. I just, yeah, definitely it should have been like 50, 60, 80 bucks at the most. hundred bucks is definitely really too much, but I definitely like this toy and um, I think other kids will too. So I hope you guys enjoy my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like and shout along. <laughs>